This short tutorial is going to show you how to make these little incel charts here. Uh, and it uses the functionality of this command here, the Excel command REPT. You can see how it works. Uh, it's going to repeat a text string, in this case hello. It's going to repeat it three times and it gives you hello, hello, hello. Now in our case uh, we're going to use um, uh, we're going to display 9% here using 10 bars to show 100% and we're using the same repeat function uh, we're repeating just a single character which is the vertical bar character and I'm going to round up I'm going to round up to the nearest whole uh, proportion uh, of, of 10% so 9 rounds up to 1 um, I want it to round up because if, if, it, if it happened to round down then when we see 0 in these charts uh, then it can be a bit distracting when you see nothing there at all so I'd rather just see the one so I tend to round up we can see uh, that obviously 40% would round up to 5 so we've got 5 bars there uh, and 47% rounds up to 5 bars and so it's a very uh, uh, compact way of uh, displaying some information now this calculation is for a, a length of tube of a given diameter and a certain wall thickness and there's a, a whole load of checks here these are the demand to capacity ratios uh, showing uh, various checks that we might do for uh, calculations and all the calculations the detail of the calculations are shown below I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this uh, but these are lots of uh, engineering checks here and I'm using the XLC add-in to display uh, all the formulas there so they're easily readable uh, but I've done a summary of all those checks at the top of the page here and uh, they're displayed now in using the repeat function uh, to form these little in-cell uh, charts now everything's passed at the moment there's no demand to capacity ratio that's uh, greater than 100% so maybe the, uh, the tube I've selected is a little too heavy I'm going to reduce it down to 10 thick a wall thickness of 10 now and we can see what can happen okay uh, the demand to capacity ratios have increased slightly uh, and in fact we've also noticed that this color changes uh, and it's changed to green I'm going to show you how uh, I've achieved that and I've used uh, the Excel conditional formatting commands we'll look at those quickly now uh, at any uh, a value that's less than 7.75 uh, will be shown in this dark green uh, between 0.75 and 1 will be shown in this brighter green and that's what we've seen in this cell here uh, and if in fact the demand capacity ratio in g rises above 1 then uh, it's going to show that in red uh, and that's going to indicate a, fail a failure clearly so let's try and push this calculation a little further let's reduce the wall thickness of our tube a little bit more we'll take it down to 8 and we'll see what happens now Okay, we're still we're still managing uh, to keep all our demand to capacity ratios uh, below 100%, but I think we're very close to the knuckle. Um, over here, I'm showing margins, uh, which is, if you like, the inverse of demand to capacity ratio. It shows you the, the margin we have. So a small demand to capacity ratio is a large margin. Uh, and uh, I'm going to push the calculation a little bit further now, and I'm going to push it over the edge probably uh, by reducing the wall thickness to, thick, to six millimeters. Uh, okay. Now we can see that the uh, uh, demand to capacity ratio here for this buckling check uh, has risen above 100%. We can see that we've got uh, 13 bars here, uh, and they've gone red because uh, the value is greater than uh, it's greater than 100%. And I've also shown there's the margin here. Uh, I've, I've kind of shown the margin. There's obviously a zero margin there, and it's actually we, we've gone wrong the other way by by three bars. Uh, so we get a very good indication. Uh, let's go crazy now and see what happens when we have uh, four millimeters. Okay, there's quite a lot of things failing now, but I think you can see that using these in-cell bars, it's a great visual check and a very compact check uh, to uh, see what my calculation is telling me very quickly. So uh, I recommend uh, you use these type of techniques uh, in your own uh, calculations. So thanks very much for listening.